praise, 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 Master, Master Jesus. Jesus. Hello. The Lord is good and all the time. God is good. God is good. <laughs> God is good. Yes. We're blessed today. Yes, yes. We are blessed today. We are blessed. And uh, my husband have a word and that uh, I, th I believe it's going to be awesome. We should have did this a long time ago, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I know that God is always on time. He always, always releases more. Always on time. When we should do it. Always on time. Yeah. Yeah, the word is why, why is the children, the kids are so, uh, 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 so, uh, so attacked? Why do they get all these attacks around them? Why? Why? You know why? Because God has ordained them. Remember when Jeremiah was still little, God ordained him from little. Remember when Samuel was little, he was chosen and ordained by God. But because growing up, their guidance, their parents are not a good an instructor, a builder, it makes a lot of them to be like, not what God wants them to be, mm -hmm. but they are being called and being chosen by God. I don't care who, where, you, maybe you just got pregnant and have them. A lot of them in the scripture has no parents but, or has no father, but God used them mightily mm -hmm. beyond our imagination. Yes, so, true. so why are they getting all this attack if God has chosen them? Yes, they get attacks to be prepared and to be equipped for what God want to use them to mm -hmm. do. Joseph was once a kid, and remember when he has those dreams and visions, his brother hated him more. Think about this. His brothers hated him more. So if his brother can hate him more, Satan can also hate him more. And to use attacks sure. and to surround him all, all, the, all, all, all over his area, mm -hmm. his life, to be, to be subdued. You know, because oh, sure. enemy don't want the will and the mm -hmm. grace of God to be done in that kid's life. Mm -hmm. And you know what the Bible said in the book of Psalms, that the kids are inherited and that the children are the blessings for the family. And people, those that have them, will inherit, will eat the fruit mm -hmm. of their labor. So when God has given you a, a child or, or children mm -hmm. with blessings, Satan will always come there to mm -hmm. fight. Yes, very to true. To fight that destiny. That is so true. That's why a lot of kids, and I hate to go this way, but that's why kids, they get molested at such a young yes. age because Satan attacks their innocence. Yeah. And uh, they have a they have a clear they have a clear mind in adults, you know, because yeah. the kids know how to forgive easily. Yeah. They know how to accept things. They even see uh, spirits, bef uh, you mm -hmm. know. And then you notice that when they they see those spirits and they see that they have discernment already. They know who not to mess with and who to yes. mess with. Yeah. And um, it, you know, it's amazing that when you know when they grow up, they lose that. Yeah, I know that gift is always there, but they have to activate it more yeah, when they get when, when they get adults. Yeah. And again, pay attention to this. The Spirit of God just drop it right now. When you are child or you are children, telling you to stop a, a, a somebody that is always come to your house. The children knows every spirit, mm -hmm. every demons. They know. They see them. You, you, somebody always visit you. They always visit you. And your children are telling you, Mom, we don't like him. Mom, we don't like her. Pay attention to those things. Those spirits around these people are trying to influence, mm -hmm. mesmerize the children's destinies. Yes, so true. And also, when your children wake up in the morning or every week, at least once a week, Always ask them their dreams. Yes. Very important. That's true. Because they don't know what they're dreaming. Joseph don't even know the meaning of that dream. But he told the dream to his brothers. Mm -hmm. He told the dream to his father. And they gave him the interpretation of that dream. Mm -hmm. So it's very important. Yes. When you wake up in the morning. Yes, ask, ask them. them. Or when they come back from school. Because it was... 
Sometimes the kids, mm. we train the kids, they just tell us right when they come home from school. Yeah. But also, let's remember what the, the Bible says, that we need to train our children in the way of God. Yeah. So if your children, they watch television, they, they, uh, they, they play on their phone, they play games, Xbox, PlayStation, and all that. But in this house, the Bible says, in this house, we will serve the Lord. Yeah. So you always need to encourage your child, whether if they like it or not, yeah. to read the Word of God. The there is children God. Bibles out there that has, you know, uh, story books, you know, stuff like that. They need to learn now how to pray. They need to learn now how to read the Word. Yeah. Okay? And so when they get older, they're used to that. They're used to opening yeah. their Bible. They're used to praying. Yeah. And that is a start and if you know i always I'm, I'm and i get a little straightforward a little bit with our kids hey if you don't like it then you wait till you get grown you do what you want to do yeah. raise your children the way you want to raise your children but in this house it's a whole nother story yeah, you 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 have football. you have asked us to go to football games you have asked us to go to the trampoline place then you know since you can do all of that you can also spend time with with christ jesus yeah, that's true all right. Yeah, we always make sure that they read their Bible. If they still don't understand it, it's very okay. They are still, they you know. When they got you, uh, children books out there. Yeah. You they, know, yeah. meet them where they're at. You know, you don't have to, you know, let them make them read the King James Version. But they got books, Bibles out there. You know, Mardell Christian mm -hmm. Bookstores. Uh, they have those books out there. Um, coloring books, you know, you can start when they're in elementary, you get little Bible coloring books, teach them who that is, who that is, yeah. Bible stories, mm -hmm. Jonah in the well. Yeah, how to little, pray, how, how Jesus pray. fasted. Don't, they, they might yeah. not fast, but at mm -hmm. least let them know those things. Yeah. I saw a video somebody posted on Facebook, uh, his son was very little and, and he, he he got i think he, they gave him a, a remote control remote mm -hmm. tv control the little boy have it have it like he got a microphone he was do, praying really? he was <laughs> i said wow uh, what a way to train up a, a child yes what a way Maybe. when when your child see you the mom and dad prays a lot mm -hmm. they will always want to do the same thing yeah but they Example. will see you going to club or drinking or smoking. They still want to do the same thing yes. that the parents are doing because they are not feeling anything bad about it. Yeah. So we have to be very careful what our children are seeing in us, mm -hmm. what we are planting in them. Mm -hmm. Very important. And we have seen a lot of all these kids, little kids on TV, Doing the things of God, being being famous, because, bold, be bold. They're bold. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, singing, worship. We know one of at least Caleb. Uh, yeah, uh, we love Caleb. Caleb. Yeah. yeah, and those are uh, twin sisters. The twin sisters. Uh, you know, we yeah. will put they the They doing pictures. encouragement. They doing encouragement and through the uh, through uh, uh, the positivity of God. Yeah. And, you know, pray. And, they teaching people how to pray yeah. as well. And you hear them say uh, they are doing this to glorify God. Come on. Wow. That's exactly what Caleb, little Caleb said. Yeah, I'm what, doing this uh, to glorify God. I'm just God. worshiping God just yeah. to glorify God. Yeah, that's so true. We're going to put their pictures and uh, uh, even uh, if we can get more pictures from Africa or from uh, from America, from Asia, the little kids, we yeah. can just do it in, the, in these videos. So yes. you can see your child can be who God mm -hmm. said he will be. Right. Remember, train up your child in a rightful way in a right so way. he will not depart yes. from them. That's they true. are a good inheritance and we will rejoice because they are going to bring up a good fruit. Mm -hmm. A good fruit. A good fruit. Yeah. So we love you guys. And also, oh. I know we're going to let you go. But also, if they stray away, because this it it'll be a time in uh, in any uh, a teenager life that they just want to hang out and get in trouble sometimes. But always remember, you have trained them right. They will come back. The Bible says they will come back. It's a promise. Mm -hmm. It's a promise. They will come back because you already have trained them and God is dealing with them. Believe me, I remember. Do you remember getting in trouble when you were a kid? Yeah. You always hear. You got the Holy Spirit always remind you, hey, you know this ain't right. Mm. Yeah. 
Yeah, so you always come back in your memory, in yes. your head, because God is not mocked. He knows what you have been planted and yeah. they have planted in you. Mm -hmm. So we love you guys. Make sure that you share this video to every children that you know, every kid that you know, so that this video will prepare their mind and to strengthen them. They will not be attacked anymore. God bless you. We love you. Praying for, for you. you. Bye. Bye.